Oh hello guys! So if you are a new user to Linux and you are coming from Windows, you might be used to the Windows way of installing software which is pretty much go online, google the software you need, download the exe file and double click to install it. While we don't exactly do that in Linux, I'm gonna show you today if you are still using this method, how you can do it if you are using the Debian or Ubuntu based and you have found the .deb file, how to, well basically how to install it and use it like this. So let's get started. Okay guys, so I already have found and downloaded a few files that I'm gonna use in this example and I'm gonna show you a few ways how to install these packages. So it's pretty basic, it's not that complicated. So let's start with the first one. Um, just navigate where you downloaded the files, in my case in the downloads folder, right click and open terminal here. Now all you have to do is just write down the sudo dpkg-i and the name of the file. Let's start with the st. So this is all you have to do. When I first start using Linux and I was wondering the same thing how to install the .de package. This is the command I was meeting everywhere. And although this is a good command that it's gonna do the job, it's not always the perfect solution and I'll show you why in a second. So don't worry about it, I'm gonna leave everything I use in this video in the description down below, so don't worry about that. Now just click enter, put up your root password and as you can see, dpkg error processing package steam launcher. This means dash dash install because this command doesn't resolve the dependency which are needed to be installed with the package itself. What does that mean? Every package comes with extra libraries and extra software that needs to be installed in the order for that package to work. Now, if you look for the Steam, let's see if it's here, it's already here, so you can start it, get back to it. Well, actually it started, it's a little slow. So this is what you see. And it says Steam needs to install all these additional packages, which is quite all right. You just press enter for the installation to finish, put down your password again and wait for the installation to finish. This is one way of doing things, it's not the best. I'm gonna show you another easier way to do it if you like. Okay, and this should resolve everything that needs to be installed for the Steam package in order to work. Okay, so I'm gonna give you another example how for me at least you should do this correctly and this is using the package manager of your distro, in this case apt. So again, right click where you downloaded the files, open terminal here. For this example, I'm, we're gonna try and install zoom. So sudo apt install zoom, just hit enter, put down your password and now what does that do is just basically the package manager which is apt, it's looking for all the needed dependencies with this package, look for them and suggest to install them, that's why you have to agree with yes, wait for the install now to finish which should resolve the problem much better than the command previously we've been using. Let's see.
Come on. Okay, so the installation finished. Let's see if the install went fine. Look for zoom. Let's see if it's okay. It's already installed as you can see. So again, this command using the apt package manager, it's so much better than dpkg that most of the people recommend in the beginning. Okay, so this is the methods using the command line or the terminal. If you are a new user to Linux and you don't really want to use the terminal, that's understandable. There's a so much better and easy way to do this through the graphical. So let's go to the discover or any software center you have in your disposal. Look for a little cute package called GDB. So this package, it's a graphical package installer, basically does what we exactly do with the terminal. Just click, install it. It should be pretty quick again. Should take a couple of seconds. But yeah, GDB, it's awesome. I'll show you in a second and I strongly recommend it using it at least in the beginning while you still do the packages installing of packages like this. Okay and the install it's finished just click launch and this is pretty simple too as you can see it's a simple UI which is almost always better <laughs> so how you use it just go to the file open navigate to the folder where your dot package it's downloaded for example well let's do the the Lutris again now it says the same version it's available in the software channel that's okay if you still want to install it through the dot package click Close and this is what you are met with. Just click install package, put down your password and wait for the installation to finish. Pretty basic as you can see, nothing complicated here. As you can see, it does the installing dependencies needed for this package again. All right, and it's already installed. Let's check it out Look for the Lutris package. Well, this is a VM, this is why the error. But as you can see, it's installed and loading to start. So that went perfectly fine. All right, let's close it. Okay, guys, and the last thing I want to show you is if by any chance you are using the KDE desktop environment like me right now, you can always use the discover software center to install the dot dep package i'm gonna show you a little quick that too so let's go here let's try the viber right click on it open with discover wait for the world to finish it's gonna take a few seconds again and just click install put down your password wait for the install to finish it's pretty simple but this is only if you are using the KDE desktop environment and it's already installed you can just click launch and wait for the launch to finish alright 
awesome okay guys so this is gonna be all for today i really hope this video helps you especially for you new users and once again i really recommend you just don't play too much go to the software center of your choice look for the gdb and install this package installer it's so much better and so much easier plus you don't have to go through the terminal stuff if you don't want to okay so that's all from me and i'll see you in the next one bye